There are organisms in the deepest parts of the ocean that are tremendously bizarre giants. These are the animals that are unusually large, peculiar, and horrifying. Let's examine the causes and their potential size. The beachgoers in Cape Town, South Africa, were completely shocked by an extraordinary discovery that occurred in August 2022. A 14-foot-long enormous squid with an alien-like appearance was discovered washed up amid the rocks at Scarborough Beach. Despite being elusive, deep-water organisms that may be found between 980 and 3,280 feet below the surface, gigantic squids are a great illustration of deep-sea gigantism. Speaking of which, did you know that in 2012, off the coast of Japan, scientists discovered the largest squid they'd ever seen? It was approximately 43 feet long and weighed almost a ton. Much of the information scientists know about these squids comes from the carcasses that floated to the surface, even if the precise reason why they washed up is unknown. Before we continue, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon. This will allow you to continue enjoying our incredible videos. Ringling Sharks This is one of the oldest shark species still alive. Jeremy Wade, a freshwater investigator and a scientist, captured a 200-year-old Greenland shark while setting up a trap in Norway. It was a 10-foot-long behemoth, Jeremy said, and up to 700 pounds in weight. The magnificent monster especially enjoys living over 6,562 feet below the surface, where it always is between minus 2 and minus 7 degrees Celsius. How can these enormous sharks manage to survive in such frigid conditions for such a long time? You'll probably have to wait to get the answer. Oarfish Before continuing, it should be mentioned that in July 2022, fishermen in the Chilean city of Eureka captured the 16-foot-long deep-water behemoth known as the King of the Herricks. One of the biggest oarfish ever discovered, the fish is rarely seen since it prefers deep swimming in the ocean's depths, unless when it's ill or ready to pass away in which case it tends to float close to the water's surface. Despite their enormous size, gigantic oarfish are thought to be a negative omen in Japan for impending earthquakes and tsunamis. Also, according to the Japanese, anybody who discovers an oarfish will be cursed. Sunfish This Mola Mola behemoth, said to be the biggest bony fish in the world, weighing a staggering 6,614 pounds, was discovered in Portugal's Azores Island. The wretched fish, according to biologists, had already given up on life when it was discovered floating on the water's surface. The gigantic beast was around 10.67 feet long and 11.78 feet tall. Because of their extraordinary size, jellyfish make up the majority of the food of sunfish. Strangely, jellyfish are thought to be nutritionally deficient, so why are these species developing more quickly, heavier and larger than the other marine species? Frilled Shark Genuinely terrible and incredibly archaic, this unusual species, which has many rows of well-sculpted teeth and a fence-like fringe, was discovered on January 23, 2007, hiding beneath the waters of Awashima Marine Park in Japan. Researchers believe them to be 80 million years old. Regarded as a living fossil, it was identified as a female shark up to 5 feet long. The shark seemed to be in such bad shape that it died just hours after shoving its prized catch. Nonetheless, it is known that frilled sharks, which have an average lifespan of around 25 years, are still roaming in the twilight zone of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans at a depth of 3,218 feet. Goblin Shark Captured in 2014 while operating about 10 miles off the coast of Key West, Florida, by a Georgia shrimp captain, it's believed that the terrifying, ugly and rarest living fossil has been existing in the water for 125 million years. They have flat, elongated snouts with prominent jaws. The shark often widens its jaws to seize the food directly in its mouth in an unusual eating technique. The enigmatic shark may reach lengths of 10 to 13 feet. Yet, a 20-foot-long shark was discovered close to Sri Lanka's eastern shore. Nonetheless, the subject of how these sharks are becoming bigger must be addressed in public discourse. Giant-brained octopus the huge Pacific octopus, which is thought to be the biggest octopus species in the world, lives in the northern Pacific Ocean off the coast of the United States, up to Alaska, and in the vicinity of Japan. Interestingly, despite having nine brains, it only has one central brain, and eight other brains connected to each of its tentacles. These slithery animals have a genius level above 140, making them smart enough to outperform the majority of people in maths. Despite the fact that they are 6,600 feet below the surface, where there are many additional issues in addition to food shortage, 
The fact that these octopuses grow larger and live longer than any other octopus species is the second most peculiar observation about them. Atola jellyfish Found Atola jellyfish, also known as Deep Sea Crown, in Monterey Bay's Midnight Zone, Mabari researchers discovered jelly for the first time in 2006. The jellyfish prefers to glow in the darkness of the water since it has never seen the sun with its celestial body. The species prefers to dwell in the midnight zone, which is located below 13,000 feet from the water's surface and has no daylight and extremely high pressure, and produces dazzling impulses when attacked by a predator. Red Jellyfish Very intriguing and quite uncommon, this enormous phantom jellyfish was photographed by Ambari researchers in November 2021 at a depth of 7,200 feet in Monterey Bay. The ghostly being had tentacles that smoothly extended up to 33 feet in length, and its dome had a diameter of around 3.3 feet. We all know that jellyfish are made up of five solid parts and that the rest is merely water. So why is it that these organisms are able to grow to such vast sizes while violating the laws of nature? Now let me drop a hint for you guys. The ocean pressure increases relative to the air pressure as we descend. Isopods a team of scientists traveling around the southeastern coast of the United States discovered a big isopod feasting on a fish while it was rapidly developing and capable of going years without sustenance. While typical bugs can only become as big as a sunflower seed, this enormous one was measured to be 1.47 feet long. Scientists have named the creature Bathonomus giganteus, however this isn't entirely logical given that someone starving wouldn't grow to such enormous proportions while crawling over the ocean floor in search of food. Keep watching to learn the real story behind these scavengers. Big Fin Squid This unusual film captured in the Gulf of Mexico reveals the mystery of the aquatic world as things become creepier and weirder down in the marine depths. The Magnopina squid is another name for the large, thin squid. Scientists from Noah's Ark came across an alien-like creature with strings floating in the water while searching for a shipwreck at a depth of 7,920 feet below the ocean's surface. This creature later turned out to be a 21-foot-long squid that lived deeper than any other species of squid in the depths of the ocean. Eight slender arms and two tentacles that flex like an elbow are typical of the mystery squid, which can collect food at a speed of 49.2 feet per second. Blue Whale the biggest creature that has ever lived, a blue whale was discovered stranded on a beach in a port city in northern Chile in 2015, but fishermen and beachgoers helped officials free the whale by unhooking it and pushing it back into the ocean. Larger than dinosaurs and approximately three school buses long, this one weighed around eight tons and was about 66 feet long. Blue whales typically prefer to swim in the twilight zone at depths of 3,300 feet below the surface, although they often surface to eat. It's still unknown how blue whales developed to become so enormous in size. Sponges While a sponge is always impressive in the ocean, 2015 saw the discovery of an object the size of a minivan in Hawaii that was believed to be 2,300 years old and up to 11 by 7 feet in size. The gigantic sponge was discovered in the water at a depth of 7,000 feet, and for your information, the standard ones don't measure more than 0.58 feet in length. Researchers claim that despite providing a home for lesser species, the enormous sponges play a crucial role in the ecology of filtering significant amounts of salt water. Two worms In the Guinness Basin in the Gulf of California, the hidden paradise beneath the ocean's darkness was found in 2017. These two worms, which are 1.6 inches thick and up to 10 feet long, are known as flaming riftia tube worms, live in hydrothermal vents where the scorching hot water seeping out of the vents makes survival all but impossible. These vents are located more than a mile down in the water, as is well known. Also, it's fascinating to note that these tube worms are born without a mouth, stomach, or orifice, which raises the issue of how these huge organisms manage to eat. Football fish a unique deep-sea fish that had teeth that looked like small glass shards, a body shaped like a football, and a long bioluminescent stalk dangling from the top of its head washed up on California's shores in May 2021. After a lengthy period of research, the creature was determined to be a female football fish, which usually inhabits depths of 3,000 feet below the surface where light cannot get through, leaving the fish in complete darkness. Despite their few interactions with prey, they may grow to 3.3 feet in length, so this miracle is the result of the esker, a light bulb used to attract animals at night, comes first, 
In the meanwhile, stay watching to learn more. Northern Stargazer A rare meeting of northern stargazers was seen on camera on September 22, 2019 in the Red Sea close to Hagada, Egypt. Northern stargazers, often referred to as sea bucks, are endowed with a superb ability to blend in with the sand, and they're so proficient at it that they almost appear invisible beneath the ocean bed. In addition, they have needle-like spines above the pectoral fins, toxic spines near the gills, and a black dorsal fin. But this wasn't simply for the fish's protection. They're also used as a different kind of luring for their prey by unleashing a worm-like tongue to first agitate the target before capturing it and then attacking it. Japanese spider crab, the biggest species of spider crabs, moving deep on the ocean floor at a depth of 1,640 feet. Surprisingly, these oceanic giants are said to weigh a massive 44 pounds and measure up to 12.5 feet from claw to claw. How is this even possible? We wonder now. Are these deep-sea animals' peculiar behaviors an adaptation to life in the ocean's depths? Scientists believe the answer is yes. According to them, the deep-sea gigantism phenomenon has the answers to these hows and whys. Furthermore, the lack of sunshine and the significantly lower temperatures down in the ocean cause pressure to rise, which further causes the deep-sea animals to have larger cells and live longer lives, allowing the giants to develop into incredibly large sizes. And when we're talking about sizes, the abundance of air and shortage of food resources comes to the rescue while functioning as Cleaver's Law pros. According to Cleaver's Law, your metabolism would be more effective the larger you are. To put it simply, large animals like squids are fortunate to have great efficiency given their slow metabolism. Did you know that a huge squid only requires about 0.06 pounds of food every day and only needs to burn off 45 calories daily? Bergman's rule, however, is another criterion that helps these dreadful giants endure the cold as the water gets colder. According to Bergman's rule, the reducing the temperature tends to enhance the deep-sea creature's cell size and lifespan. Strange, huh? According to Bergman's rule, bigger animals have smaller surface-to-volume ratios than smaller ones. As a result, they produce less heat, which helps them stay comfortable in colder conditions. It explains why Greenland sharks prefer living at such depths and growing to be so enormously large. But in the case of blue whales, it is the feeding style with the advent of lung feeding, in which the whales approach their food from below and entrap them in their mouths while filtering the water with their baleen. Due to their unique method of eating, blue whales now have tremendous levels of energy compared to their gigantic size. Several studies claim that the whale's ability to binge feed, grow to giant size, and sustain their enormous bodies was made possible by climatic changes. Because of buoyancy, the gigantic whale can feel lighter in the water than it would otherwise, since its weight is equally distributed underwater as opposed to on land, where it would have crushed its internal organs. However, it doesn't apply to sunfish that has produced growth hormones and insulin-like growth factors that allow the species to expand quicker than ever before. For tube worms, this is accomplished by a process known as chemosynthesis, in which the symbiotic bacteria that live inside the worm utilize the hydrogen sulfide released from the vents as a source of energy for both the bacteria and the worms. About fangtooth and football fish, this is due to their adaptation of having big mouths that can fit anything that would go in them. Yet goblin sharks use their thin bladed teeth to snag deep sea food. Their jaws may be stretched forward and fully extended to swallow their prey whole in the hollow of their mouths. In addition, pressure works its amazing magic on organisms like jellyfish, and as depth increases, pressure tends to rise 1,000 times higher than atmospheric pressure. As 95% of jellyfish are formed of water, which is incomprehensible, there are no air holes remaining. Because of this, the pressure force, which nearly rises by one atmosphere for every 33 feet of ocean depth, does not help to crush these giants. Let's use blobfish as an illustration. The unfortunate species known as a blobfish lives between two and 3,000 feet below the ocean's surface and resembles a typical fish until it rises to the surface and loses the pressure that keeps its soft body and form, turning it into an unsightly blob. Well, do you recall when I said that isopods could enjoy years of starvation? This is because when they do eat, they continuously consume food to store it for later. Scientists lowered an alligator to the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico in February 2019 at a depth of 6,600 feet to test this theory, and it only took half a day for these eerie giants to change into a skeleton. So, set everything aside and let's speak about oxygen. 
because scientists asserted in 1999 that the maximal size of a species is directly proportionate to rising quantities of oxygen dissolved in deeper water, like the dinosaurs more oxygen meant bigger bodies. Scientists believe that the increased oxygen levels allowed the dinosaurs to grow large enough to be enormous monsters because some studies showed that the earlier species of dinosaurs were smaller in size than those that changed after the atmosphere's oxygen levels increased to between 15 and 19 percent. Returning to the spider crabs that may live to be over 100 years old, thus we arrive at the second factor, safety. These spiders don't race about after their food, instead they sit and wait patiently for the prey to cross their path since life moves more slowly in the deep water than it does on land. That makes sense because it's difficult to detect prey on a regular basis with such little visibility. The peacefulness, as the last factor resulting from deep-sea gigantism, can be attributed to the lack of stress about impending storms or other natural calamities continually upsetting the deep sea. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Please like and share it with your friends. Please press the bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of the wonderful new videos coming soon.